Welcome to my UV lighting video for Halloween. Last year I updated my Halloween spider and made a number of tombstones. While detailing those tombstones I added some fluorescent paint to highlight areas when lit with UV light. I didn't want to run AC powered lights all over and I was looking for something that could run on the 12 volts I'm already using for the tombstones. Walking through a Dollar Tree store I found these fake security cameras and I thought the housing would be perfect. I went to AliExpress for some 1 watt UV LEDs to complete the project. After some testing, I found that I needed a small heat sink to keep the UV lights at a reasonable temperature. I started off with making the UV LED triangles. Since I'm using 12 volts, I was able to wire the LEDs in series. The LEDs have a range of 3.2 to 3.4 volts. However, they get very hot above 3.2. I settled on about 3.1 volts, which gave me a reasonable amount of UV light without an extreme amount of heat to dissipate. To make the connection between the LEDs, I'm soldering some uninsulated bus wire between each one. I'm going to speed up this part and add some themed music. I used an MP1584 3 amp buck converter to keep the 12 volts at about 9.4 for driving the LEDs. The ones I purchased have a variable resistor for setting the voltage, or you can replace it with a fixed resistor. I was able to get some small 9.42 K ohm 0603 surface mount resistors to set an output of 9.4 volts. After cutting out the interior of the housing, I was ready for the final assembly. I am now assembling the UV pack, heatsink, and buck converter. I've sped up this part of the video. some research on this buck converter, it was found to be most efficient when the input voltage was about 1 volt above the output voltage setting. So I used a resistor to drop the 12 volts input down to about 10.4 volts. And now a final test and then attach the cover. I had a few ideas on how to mount the lights. The base itself was not heavy enough to stand alone. Since I recently acquired a 3D printer, I was going to make some mounting stakes, but then I found some metal construction plates and some magnets left over from another project. I decided to make a simple magnetic base and attach it to the weighted metal. It did the job perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video and a thank you to those that have subscribed. Please take a look at my other projects, and if you are not yet a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.